Hey, my name's Vince Rudder and I want to welcome you to our uh, wood chip processing facility where we're taking uh, wood chips from the urban forests and screening them into a usable and uh, dependable heating food product. So I want to show you around the place uh, to give you a sense of, of how this works and what the, uh, the inputs and the outputs are. We regularly have trucks dumping wood chips here from the urban forests. Wood chips come from a variety of hand pet chippers and a variety of species and they all come in green so they're all at 50% moisture content and the particle sizes are very unpredictable because the chippers are different, the knives are sharp or dull, uh, some species don't chip very well, some species do. So this is a sample of what the raw product looks like. You can see there's lots of twigs that come in uh, that are pretty long that don't meet the spec that we're looking for. Um, there's, there's pieces that are, that are too big, uh, sometimes there's chunks of, chunks of wood, sometimes there's even little logs that come in, so it's, it's extremely variable um, and we can't use that in a heating system because it's not predictable enough. So we need to take this, we need to make the particle size predictable, and we need to lower the moisture content to 35%. Low 35% we have uh, fuel that can be stored reliably. So what we do, we take this fuel and put it through this screening plant. This is a, a three deck screening plant that splits the product three ways. This is the in-feed hop load into this hopper and then the, the stacking conveyor takes them up to the three deck screener. Now, a three deck screener has, has three different levels. The, the top level has big holes, the middle level has uh, medium holes and the small level has really small holes so it separates the product into three streams overs particles that are too big unders particles that are too small and the good stuff in the middle and the good stuff in the middle is what we use for fuel so it works pretty well this screen is made for aggregates but it works well for wood chips the fine particles fall underneath here and they accumulate here and if you look closely you'll see the there's a lot of dust uh, there's a lot of fine wood chips the bigger wood chips are not out of the spec that we're looking for, but um, considering the fuel is green, this particle size is where a lot of the moisture is locked. Uh, and if we take this out, we reduce the chip's ability to hold on to moisture. Another function this has in the raw fuel is it binds the fuel together. So you get a lot of clumping. So we take this out and we have a product that flows really well. I'll show you the overs on the other side here. We probably lose about 10% to this particle size. These are the particles that are too big for heating systems, obviously. So this is what we're screening out. These will cause jams to heating system augers, so we need to eliminate these. This is maybe 2%. There's some problems here that we're screening out. This belt spits out at a pretty fast rate. The good product. The particle size is somewhat consistent. The chips flow really well. They don't clump up. Um, even when they're frozen, you don't get any clumping. So this fuel, we then move into this building, which is absolutely essential. We have air coming through and we have some decomposition in the fuel that creates heat and that heat drives moisture out of the pile. Um, and if we dry moisture out of the pile without any new moisture coming in, we'll get that moisture content to below 35%, which is where we need. We'll probably find we get an average of 20 to 30% moisture content. So as you can see, we have enough fuel for three transport trucks at the moment. We can hold about 2,000 cubic meters in this building. We'll have to uh, start stacking up higher, but we can hold about that much. In the meantime, we can use the empty space to store um, unscreened products. We have pavement on the ground, which is absolutely essential. Otherwise, we will incorporate too much rock and too much sand into the fuel. And rock and sand doesn't burn, so we can't have that in the fuel. So the pavement is essential. This entire plant has been a long time in progress and not an easy one to develop. But uh, if we want to take wood chips from the urban forest, and make a, a usable, predictable heating fuel, and you need a process like this, and you need a facility like this. Um, so, it's working great.